special because it's orthonormal. So the, the, the geometric representation is 90 degree I, J, and K. Where's the angle? K, 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 K. The angle here is 90 degree. The angle here is 90 degree. The angle here is 90 degree. Uh -huh. 90 degree in between them. Always. Uh -huh. And this uh, example we want to study now, not necessarily 90 degrees, so it's not orthonormal. It's univector because the magnitude is one, but ortho, no orthonormal. It's not special. It's, you know, univector or regular univector. So to find the univector for this example is B vector. Uh -huh. The letter we use frequently is B, W, I don't know why, A, B, C. Doesn't matter. It doesn't suppose that one vector is given 4, comma, negative 3. Yeah, I need to find the unit vector, guys. Okay, okay, it's doing. Does it step number one? And find the magnitude of this vector. The formula is square root, like a Pythagorean, 4 square plus negative 3 square. 4 square is 16 plus 9, positive, of course, 25, and the square root 25 is 5. Okay, no problem, I understand. And you divide univector, univector, you divide each component by 5. So the univector is 4 over 5, comma, negative 3 over 5. Done! And this is the univector. K represent the same direction. Okay, okay. The representation is, let me, let me try, let me try, let me try. The representation is suppose n to d, n to d, n to d. Uh -huh. This is x, this is y, uh -huh. a four unit. One, two, three, four. And this direction is this component. And three unit in opposite direction. One, two, three. Okay, so this. And this together represent that vector. And this vector is B. Uh huh. And what about you? One of you is exactly in the same direction, but the magnitude is one. That is the reason it's univector. This is a fantastic tool, univector, to express it direction. And the vectorial problem, uh, you can see, well, uh, 90 degree, 30 degree, but it is a big one. No? So you, uh, uh, you are more specific. Okay, okay, I want, I want, I want to travel in this direction, which is expressed by the unit vector. Oh, it's clear. It's super clear. In the, in the direction, indicate for this little unit vector and red color in that direction. Let me prove, let me prove, let me prove, let me prove that the magnitude of this is one. Let me do Bauer. So actually, the idea uh, the, to find the, 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 the magnitude, well, you apply, apply the formula, okay, it's a square root, this guy is square, four over five square, plus negative three over five square. Okay, and this is a square root, this is 16 over 25. And this is 9 over 25, no positive. And you're adding each other is uh, square root 25 over 25. Okay, one. And square root one, and so one. Univector. Do you see univector? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. It's a one possibility. It's a one possibility. Let's see example, application example. Suppose you find the univector from the direction of the magnitude. Suppose I'll play. Suppose airplane, an airplane travel. So another way to express it. There, there are not too many, but some different way to express the, the, the same problem. Suppose that the airplane or the object, I don't know, a car. No, it's, a, it's a car because of the, the velocity. Okay, this is a velocity vector. Uh -huh. And the magnitude of the velocity vector guy, by the way, is called a speed. And this is velocity. The velocity is a quantity that is vectorial. And a speed, no. A speed is a scalar. When you see, when you travel at uh, 20 miles per hour, no specification direction, because this is a speed. Okay? The speed in this problem is given. 
the speed is given is 25 mile per hour. And you reach the unit mile per hour is velocity. Okay, because velocity or speed is um, distance divided by time. The definition of the speed or speed. Because velocity is the same, but vectorial, no? So say now you see distance is mile per P, per indicate division and hour time. So when you see 25 miles per hour is this is obvious it's speed. So it's a magnitude. It's a magnitude of the velocity. 25. It's a more, you know, a mathematical language and it's a physical language. Okay, now, and to say now, in what direction travel this car? Well, this car travel, guys. Let me see. Let me try to, to understand. One picture, one sketch. You know, always we can do geometrically or algebraically. Okay, let's do it in both ways. This is X axis, this is the Y axis, and our vector is 25 but and the direction we use this is the second part of the problem direction direction a 30 degree with respect respect uh, x axis uh -huh, uh, in positive direction positive Direction in other words, control go wise. No, that's so my bag to look like that. Oh, this magnitude is 25. And this segment, the length of this segment is 25, and the angle is 30 degrees. The angle is 30 degrees. Uh -huh. This is the idea of the problem. And the idea of the problem is find, I need to find directions and magnitude. Well, magnitude is giving the directions. So express it like a vector. Express it like a vector. So it's giving, it's giving the magnitude. Look at that. It's giving direction. 30 degrees. Okay, this is super easy. You projecting, you projecting, you projecting here. Onto the x axis, uh -huh. we have one component here, maybe, 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 maybe blue. Okay, maybe blue component. Uh huh. Uh, I'm projecting also onto, onto the y axis and maybe green component. Okay, case, let me show you, let me show you. This component is the green, it's the, it's the same, right? The same. The basic, I break it down. My vector, just give you at the beginning. Get the magnitude at 25 miles per hour. Direction 30 degree. We respect the x axis and positive direction. And two vector, and the blue vector and the green vector. Ah, but it's super easy because this, in my imagination, is a triangle, no? And you apply trigonometric functions. What function? Sine and cosine. In order to find the green, you find the sine. I'm going to find the blue, you find the cosine because the green is the opposite and the and the and the blue is the adjacent. Okay, so in order to find, I'm going to find the the component in the in the y-axis is 25. Get the hypotenuse. 25 multiplication by sine 30 degree. Ah, sine 30 degree at one half, you know very well. Uh huh. Well, to say you multiplication is 12.5. Okay, now likewise, 25 again is the hypotenuse multiplication by cosine 30 degree. It's 25 and multiply by radical 3 over 2. Okay, the cosine 30 degree. Uh -huh. You put in decimal, multiply by 25 is 21.65. Now, so you can affirm it, okay, this vector, you can break it down in two vectors, 
and the vector B, like a vector, no speed, so the actual my speed is 21.6, 65, sorry, I, plus 12.5, K, J, sorry, no K, K is in three dimension, and the unit of this is meter, mile per hour, mile per hour. So one possibility, another possibility is express it in the way that you like. 21.65 comma 12.5. I express it in both ways because I am the teacher and I want to explain in a different way. Okay. Is clear the idea or no? This is, the, this, is, this is one reason for which you study trigonometric. No, the only reason, of course, but one reason you study trigonometric because you need to manipulate vectors. Okay, does I bring several problems? Sorry, sorry, uh -huh. Can I Oh, no, I erase. Yeah, I don't know how I come back because my, my, my whiteboard is new. Does I have no idea how I return to this. I will go, I will go to the board. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. You find a solution always. Okay, guys, okay, okay. so now let's, let's do in several problems and you help me to understand. What is the idea? Addition or subtraction, depending on the operation can indicate you, and uh, express it using a standard unit vector. A standard unit vector mean IJ, no? In 2D, in 2D, in 2D. Suppose the example one to practice a little bit is uh, angular bracket 5,4, Plus angular bracket three comma minus three. Uh -huh. Addition, no, get plus. Ah, entonces now you add in component by component, no? Five plus three is eight, and four minus three is one. Boom. And if you want to express it, express it in a standard unit vector using the standard unit vector, autonomous unit vector, i and j, because it's a 2D problem, is a i plus 1j, again, when it's 1, you know, the coefficient is not necessary specification. Super easy. Next example. Now subtraction. Well, it says 5 minus 3 gets 2, no? Comma, four minus minus double minus become positive. So say actually no negative three is positive three, and four plus three is seven. Do you see or no? They are another. Uh -huh, they are another way to visualize that. Two i plus seven j. So the student can say I don't see clear. Okay, no problem. You you write in the standard unit vector to say phi i. Flow 4j, j minus parentheses, because it's minus, affect everything, every component, 3i minus 3j. Uh -huh. And when you now copy in the next line, this is distributed as minus 3i, and I get the negative positive. Uh -huh. So when you combine the ii, is 2 and when you combine the jj, is 7 and you get the same answer. Either way, guys, the way you prefer. Now I want to complicate a little bit. Suppose now multiplication by, by a scalar. So multi suppose multiply two times, 5,4. Okay, the interpretation is this is a scalar. A scalar mean only one number, and this is one vector because you see two components, one vector by the way in two dimensions. And so, what is the interpretation of this? Suppose that this vector represents velocity, uh, velocity in a specific direction, a specific magnitude. 
But when you multiply by two, you duplicate the vector. So you press the accelerator, shoot, and the car go fast two times. Okay? This is the idea behind. Ah, it's yes, negative two. Oh, and so you change direction. You press the accelerator, but you move the, the wheel in the opposite direction. Okay, but no, no, no. No complicate this. Is you are. Okay. So say S, bueno, multiplication by scalar is easy. Multiplication by scalar is 10, 8. And a standard unit vector is 10i plus aj. Good? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Suppose another gets minus 3 multiplication in the same vector. Oh, and I can change the direction and triplicate the vector. So it's negative 15, comma negative 12. Okay, and the standard unit vector notation is negative 15 i minus 12 j. Do you, do you think that this is easy, eh? Yeah, it's very, yeah, it's very easy. Uh -huh, but, but, but it's just the beginning, right? I promise you, I want to complicate a lot of that part. Okay? But it's important that you are strong in the in the foundation, no? in, the, in the initial. Suppose another, another problem, suppose case A is given. Ah, I change the letter, no B anymore. A is a vector, 2,3. And B is another vector. Is negative two phi. In two dimensions, we are working in two dimensions, and you have to compute, compute, compute two a, comma, three b, comma, two a, plus three b, comma. 2a minus 3b. Let's do it. Well, multiplication by the scalar by 2 is 2a is 4,6. Oh, using the standard unit vector notation for i plus 6j. Clear? 3b. 3b is negative 6 and positive 15. It's negative 6i plus 15j. Cool. Uh -huh. Now together, together gets 2a plus 3b. Ah, it's easy. You're adding. is this and this plus. Okay, negative 2, no? I and this and this plus get 21, 21 plus 21. Yay. If you prefer the notation using angular bracket, okay, okay, no problem. It's negative 2, comma 21. Cool? Yes, yes. Aha, the last one is 2a minus 3b. Two Okay, 2a I copy is 4i plus 6j. And now subtraction is 3b. So you change the sign. See, it's minus, this minus here, this minus. Uh, change the sign. So you put minus here. Change the sign of this guy. And now it's 6i. And this is minus 15j. Uh huh. Does so you combine 4 and 6 is 10. 10 what? 10 i and 6 minus is 9 minus no, minus 9 j and the answer in the other notation that you prefer is 10 comma negative 9. Wow. I have more problem? No. No more problem for today. I don't know. All right. Let's do it one more. But it's the same stupid thing. Do you understand very well or no? Yes. This, yes. Is, this is the lecture for today. The lecture for today is can you understand what is the, uh, the importance of the vector operation? Because in the real life, there are something that's expressed like a vectorial, no? 
Uh -huh. Example for, for the vector quantity. The most popular is, well, you see, in, when you took physics, you took physics or not yet? Or you need, don't need to take physics? You need to take physics. Answer me. No, no. No. <laughs> Why not? Because you major as a, ma as a business. No, it's no. It's what? Nutrition. 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 Because it relates somehow with the medicine. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, but it's weird, cannot no physics. But chemistry, a lot, right? Chemistry, yeah, chemi yeah. organic yeah, chemistry. Huh? I said yes, a lot of chemistry. Yeah, a lot of chemistry. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't like chemistry. Okay. Me too. Uh, oh, oh, but you have to. Okay. It's like, baby. Okay, okay. When you take one subject the first time, okay, at the beginning you don't know, but you when you finish, you you love that subject. Okay. This is the stretch shit that you have in your life. When you assume something. Little by little, you adapt to the new thing, and you, at the beginning, you change a little bit and you lie, but not too much, and maybe you love. Okay, you are the right professor. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. And my daughter, I say, you, no, I don't like this subject, but you need to. This is <laughs> this is your obligation. This is your duty. Okay, you little by little, you try to find the good flavor of the soil, you know? Okay, guys, stop for a moment. Stop, stop, stop. We continue back to next time. Okay, that's right. No, you know, not always I am right, but today maybe I am right. Okay, guys, to say the, have a nice day. Uh -huh. Enjoy your rest of the day. I try to win. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you, Professor. Bye.